Okay, this video is uh, one that is being created to address a, um, a question that a few students have had, and it's regarding Unit 7, which is the statistical reasoning um, uh, guide here. And in order to complete this unit, you will need uh, access to a calculator. It's a graphing calculator, and it's a sort of a specific kind of tool. It's uh, made by Texas Instruments. There is the TI 83 or 84 series models. Um, the calculators that you see in the video lessons in the course are basically this, this version that lets you type in and evaluate statistical functions um, quite easily. Um, so if you don't have access to this type of a calculator, it's going to be a little bit challenging to do those questions because you, you would you'd have to replicate those functions somehow. So the choices for, um, for getting this calculator is um, you can go out and purchase one, but they're quite expensive. They're in around the $150 range or so, um, usually over $100. Um, you can get them in most office supply stores. But on the uh, internet, you can have access to what are called emulator tools. And these emulators run on Macs and Windows machines, and it basically will simulate what this calculator can do, and it's uh, they're free to run. So what I've done is to uh, instead of having students just going out and searching for these uh, for these tools, um, I've packaged a couple up together here, one for the Mac and one for Windows, and I'm just going to take you through how to uh, download one and how to open it up and have it set up on your computer. So the link that I'm going to show you how to go through here is the one for my uh, computer here, which is a Mac. Um, it's the Windows machine works uh, ex exactly the same, same way. It's, it's a very simple emulation program. And you just need um, a little bit of uh, guidance just to see how, how I've set it up here. So if you click on the link for whichever computer you've got, um, it'll take you to a download. Um, and Moodle will download a, a very small file to your computer. Now, it, uh, if you see here on my browser um, at, at the bottom, it shows here that a couple of files have been downloaded. Okay, so this is the name of the emulation file um, that I have downloaded, and it's in a, what the format what's called a zip archive. So a zip file is just a way to s distribute files in, as a single download. Um, because there are two components to this program and rather than download them separately, it's easier to just uh, download this one file that's very small, easy to download, and um, easy to open up. So a zip archive on a Mac or a Windows machine is, uh, is very easy to open. Um, on most the modern machines, you should just be able to right click on it. So on a Mac, I would just do control click and we're just going to select open for the archive. If you're on a Windows machine, um, the term is extract. Um, so you just right click and do extract that archive. And what that will do is quickly unpack uh, that for you and create a separate program folder. So you can see here, it's, uh, it's all put together in this folder. So if I'm gonna open it up, um, inside the folder, you'll see two files. Um, one of the files is the actual emulation program. Um, here you can see its name. It's got a little funny name. It's called Wabbit Emu. So Emu stands for emulator. And then associated with that is what's called the TI-83 ROM file. So the ROM file is the important piece that is missing if you try to search for this on your own. Um, because without that ROM file, you're not able to actually load the calculator into the emulator and get it working. So once you've got it open, um, the very first time you run this program, um, especially if you're on a Mac, it is because it's such an old program it 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 doesn't have uh, follow the modern security standards so you actually have to hold down the control key while you click on the on the icon and you will see uh, the word open okay that will let you launch the program file um, and you'll have to click open again in order for it to allow it to be opened on this computer Okay, so that's a, just a key feature on the Mac. On the Windows version of this, you should just be able to double click it. Um, it may ask you to authenticate and put in a password um, because it is running a new program on there. So you might have to do that. If it's your own computer, you should be able to know what that is. And then the emulator will, will boot up. Now what it's done here is it's actually started. Um, so on the Mac, I just have to click into the dock to bring it for to the foreground. So you can see here's the menu for the emulator, but we don't actually see anything happening because what 
it's waiting for is it's waiting to find and load up the ROM file. So you just go to File Open, and what we're going to do is navigate to our folder, which is on our desktop. So I would just hit Desktop, and then I'd hit the uh, look for the folder. And then inside that folder, you want to click on the ROM file, and we'll just click Open. And what that will do is bring up the TI-83 calculator running um, just like you would have if you went and purchased the actual physical calculator here. So um, if you aren't familiar with this, this calculator, it's kind of an algebraic calculator. So you type in questions or calculations as you have, would have written them down algebraically. So for example, if I want to add 15 or let's go here, five times nine, you actually just type in five times nine and you see it print out on the screen. Um, to actually um, do the calculation, you have to hit the enter key and that will print out its value of 45. Okay, so it's uh, it's got algebraic style notation, which can take a little bit of getting used to, um, especially if you're just coming from a regular simpler calculator. The clear key will clear the screen. Um, one thing that I uh, just want to get students to check when you're using this, um, just so that your answers are similar to the ones that you'll see in your key, is click the mode button. And this brings up the settings for the calculator. So what you should see, um, the top three items are the ones that are important. You want the calculator to have normal calculation um, mode. Um, so that should be set by default. You can use the arrow cluster of arrow keys to move up or down through this list and then side to side. So normal is what we want set. We want floating point to be set. That will ensure that you see as many decimals as possible, which will give you an answer that's comparable to what's in the key. And then the only one I would change here is the radians uh, measurement for angles. Um, I don't know, I don't think you're going to be working with any angles, but we've been using degrees as our measurement throughout the course. So you'll want to um, highlight the word degree, hit the enter key on the keypad, and that will lock that in. Okay, and then when you want to get off of this screen, you just hit second function mode again, and that will quit. And it should allow you to just hit the clear key, and um, then you're ready to go into calculation mode. Okay, so that's a a bit of a quick overview of how to download the TI-83 emulator and load the ROM file that you need in order to actually run the calculator. So like I say, this works on both Mac and Windows. Um, it's an older program, so it should run on virtually any computer. I don't think there's really any restrictions on it. Um, if you have any questions or any you need any further help with this, you can just feel free to email me. Um, you, know, you have to just describe a little bit about what's going on with your computer and hopefully you'd be able to get this running because um, like I say it'll uh, it's something that you do need in unit 7 in order to do the questions um, and if you don't have this calculator you either have to find one borrow one or perhaps purchase one but like I say it's also it's a little bit of an expensive tool to have for this one unit and um, you'll have to decide whether that's something you um, are able to do okay so uh, hopefully that was helpful and um, will help you move along into unit 7